Hi, I'm Maggie. And I'm Brad, and we are the Wanderland Travelers. We live full-time in our RV, staying in the most scenic places we can find. And we're able to do this uh, because Brad works remotely as a software engineer. So our viewers, Richard and Chris, hi guys, uh, asked if we would share how we find such beautiful campsites. And we thought that was a great question and something that a lot of people might be wondering. So we thought we'd make a video about it. And before we forget, these are our amazing sidekicks, Paco and Pepper. Also, before we forget, if you're new here, please click that subscribe button so you'll be notified of any new videos that we make. Right. We make weekly vlogs about our adventures and our travels. So let's dive in. I would say, first of all, we get inspired to go to a certain state or park or area through photos that we see. And so that could come from... Instagram. <laughs> Instagram, that's a big one. We follow a lot of different RVers and traveling people. And so we get inspired all the time by the amazing places that they visit. And so anytime we see something that sparks our interest, it goes on a list. And uh, we keep our list organized by state. And so, yeah, if we realize we're going to be going to that state, we'll see what's on the list and how we can sort of work it in. We also... Um, follow some different travel websites and travel magazines and so they'll post articles about hikes or national parks or things like that and so we get inspiration from that way as well. So once we find ourselves in the vicinity of a beautiful site that we want to see, we'll check several apps that we know of to find good campsites nearby. I think one one real key to finding beautiful places is that we kind of look for the free places. They are yeah. most often the most beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. Public lands, BLM, national forest, places that really get you away from city centers and yeah. out in nature among the quiet and the stars. It's just amazing. So that's how we like to camp. We love to boondock. Yeah. We uh, refer to Campendium, freecampsites.net, and a little to a lesser extent, Ultimate Campgrounds. But all of these sites utilize a map format so you can see right on the map where the sites are. Uh, you can click on it for more information. You get GPS directions. Yeah, there's often reviews, although Ultimate Campgrounds does not have reviews at this point. Yeah, but Campendium and FreeCampsites.net do have reviews and they show usually show um, what kind of reception you're going to get from your cell phone. Yeah, so for us working remotely, that becomes very important and sort of a deal breaker if we can't get service. So amazingly enough, we've stayed in some pretty remote places and very rarely has cell service been a problem. We are staying on some BLM land uh, just up Klondike Bluff Road. This is near Moab, Utah and very close to Arches National Park. I think, in fact, the park boundary is visible in the shot. It's right just here. sort of the other side of these white rocks way out in the distance. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of amazing. There's not actually a direct route over there that we know of because you can't walk on the ground or you disrupt the uh, cryptobiotics. The cryptobiotics, some kind of microbiome that yep. lives there. And when you walk on it, you destroy it. It takes like 10 years to grow. But yeah, so we use those websites. Um, that's how we used um, Campendium to find this amazing spot. Um, and we definitely rely on the reviews. So people talking about the road conditions, cell service, noise, cleanliness, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, we find that just extremely helpful. So we kind of know what we're getting into. And thanks to the reviews, we found out that there was a Maverick station in Moab that's a, that has a free dump station and free water. We've seen some people talking about where they can find water before they get to their boondocking site. And we would just encourage everyone when you leave a review on these sites, if you found water nearby, let people know because that can be one of the biggest obstacles um, and there's not an easy app to refer to to find free water or even cheap water to fill your RV tanks. Yep, that is one of the hardest things to find. Yeah. Once we know where we're going, then we'll often use an app called All Stays. 
Um, we've talked about that in one of our episodes. It's a website and also an app. As of this video recording, it's only on iOS. It was just taken down from the Google Play Store recently. If you already have it installed, you get to keep it, but otherwise you can't get it. So we use Allstays to plan our route and Allstays is fantastic because it'll tell you about like the grade of the roads coming up, rest areas, truck stops, gas stations that can accommodate your big rig. Propane. Yep. Sometimes they have dump information on there. Yeah, so just all kinds of information that is really useful to RVers. Um, so that's how we sort of figure out where we're going to stop and get gas and uh, maybe spend the night in a rest area if it's a while before we can get to our destination. Or a Walmart. Yeah, or a Walmart. Yeah, that's on there too. Did you say clearance? Oh, no, I didn't mention. Yeah, it'll list if there's a low clearance uh, on the road. So also extremely helpful. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that is a pretty good picture of how we find these amazing places. And certainly refer to our travel playlist because we've made videos of ever, everywhere we've been and maybe that can give you some inspiration of where you might want to visit next. So we'll put links down below to these sites that we utilize and um, this is our playlist for our favorite free campsites that we've stayed at so far. If you have other questions for us related to this or if you have questions that you might want us to make a video about, leave it in the comments. We'll consider doing that. And, um, yeah, thanks guys. Yeah. Thanks so much. Take care and happy travels. Safe travels. Mm -hmm.